Hello again. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> please, please, please be working. Come on. Come on. Okay. The ads are great. I bet they are. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's my internet or what. Oh, thanks, Susan. All right, so just so you guys know, um, I'm going to turn it off for now because I like Pokemon music. We're going to be listening to that. But <clears throat> my bot can now do song requests. So in my pre-stream and post-stream, out-stream, outro. Um, oh, bye, Angel. Thanks for coming in. Um, you guys can do song requests, but we're not going to do those right now. So, I'm just going to back out of that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm still a little laggy on my side. I don't know why, but I don't like it. So, let's just go straight into the game. Um... Really, my concern is more that you'll see the game. Yes, through the GameCube. <laughs> I really hope this works, because if it doesn't, I will be heartbroken. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I feel like... Let me drop this down to standard. It'll help me out. Maybe that's better? Who knows? You could do some really trippy dance moves like I'm dancing in a strobe light. Yeah. <clears throat> I just want you guys to see the game because this is my, like, <laughs> favorite childhood Pokemon game. And if you guys can't see it, I'll just be terribly sad. Plus, this is Rob's birthday stream, and it's, like, being ruined by technology. Oh my gosh! What do I do? Um... Dang it. Okay, if you guys can hear me okay, tell me if you're willing to do this. OBS has been wanting me to update it for a while. I don't know if that's part of the problem. Um... So if you guys are willing to wait, I'm sorry for asking you to do this, but if you guys are willing to wait, I can update OBS and restart my computer and see if it improves anything. Um, just let me know. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the stream. I'm so sorry. It was all working when I tested it earlier. Everything was great. Um, but you know how technology goes. So if... Kind of, I guess, kind of just let me know what you want me to do. Um, <clears throat> gosh, this sucks that it's doing that. 
Oh, thanks, Susan. Um. Gosh, this made me so sad. Update it. Okay, all right. Then I'm going to I'm going to go. Just watch my channel for when I come back, okay? For the love of all, that is holy. <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta report back. Y'all gotta report back to me. <clears throat> Please. Please, computer. Internet. OBS. Whatever this is. Please. Please. Please work. I'm waiting on the ad. Please work. It's working. It's working. Why is it not working for me? No lagging or anything? Okay. I'm restarting my Twitch. Let's set an option. Okay. Um, first things first. Rob. First decision. Oh, yay! Thank you for the host, Rob. Um, for the rehost, it's working, yay! Oh, mom says mom says hi and happy birthday. Okay, um, frame. Y'all got you got to decide, Rob. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, Rob, pick a pick a frame. If you got any of that, we go through them real fast. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> If any of them are jumping out at you, Rob, now is the time. Now is the time to tell me. One. Okay. All right. We got stereo. Shift on fast. Done. My internal battery has died, which means my clock won't work, but we can still play the game. So I'm hysterical. All right. Here we go. You guys ready? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of a Pokemon. Guys, this is my first Pokemon stream. I'm so excited right now. <clears throat> my name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Aw, oh, Terror, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. Are you a boy or are you a girl? My preference is to play as a girl, but if Rob wants me to play as a boy, I shall. But usually, obviously, I play as a girl because I am one of those. <clears throat> so, once uh, Rob gives me the go-ahead, the go-ahead, I'm gonna... Wow, that was so southern. I really hope that that little piece of sunlight 
because my the sun is setting. I really hope that that's not really bothering anybody. You go, girl. All right, what's your name? Okay, do I go as... I can't go as Victoria. In the older games, it always used to disappoint me as a kid that I could not go as Victoria, but I can't go as Victoria. I can go as Tori. I can go as V. I can go as something else. Are you a boy or are you a girl? You go, girl. That's from a uh, clock. Your clock stream. Roberta? Oh. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me to play as? Or... <laughs> what I should name myself and other people you guys can have suggestions too as to what I should name myself usually when I play I go by Tori because you guys are pretty much the only people who call me V um, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna do Tori just because that's my normal thing so it'll feel it'll feel normal for me ham Tori's pretty good yeah, but I'm already Hamtori in my Hamtaro game, and I, like, want to keep those a little separate. Yeah, name yourself Roberta. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'll, I'll go with Tori, unless you guys would rather me go as V. Just V. V might actually be kind of cool. <clears throat> with putting my name just as V. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. If everybody's cool with that, I think I might just be V. Um, how are the levels and everything? V is good, okay. Levels are everything, everybody can hear the music, but still hear me. Okay, yes it's V. Ah, okay. You're V, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Hey, Sarah! How are you? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the birthday stream. Obviously, Rob's the, the birthday boy. Okay, good. Alright, are you ready? You make your own... You make your, your very own venture. Uh, wow. It's about to unfold. <clears throat> Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Dude, guys, I am freaking out excited oh thank you um i cannot read your username but thank you for the follow uh welcome to the channel i'm v um in case you don't know uh also full name victoria some people call me tori most people here just call me v so if you want to call me that feel free uh obviously playing some pokemon this is my first pokemon stream although i am a long time pokemon veteran do not be uh worried i know very well what i'm doing so <clears throat> Wait, what? What? At the end of the tour? Oh, at the end of the tour is what it looked like. You're worried. Oh, don't be worried. All right, so our mom loves us so much, she put us in the uh, moving van. So that's exciting. Why is my screen so dark? Hang on, let me see if I can fix that real quick before we jump into it um oh oh victory got it okay hang on one second i'm gonna try to oh come on update my picture real quick A little too much. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Have fun with your potatoes. Oh, Tara's mentioned you before, but a friendly how do you do to you in your chat. Hello, hello. Oh, man. Hey, Timo. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for the host. I, I am just... I love... I'm, I have been kind of... I mean, obviously, I love Nancy Drew, don't get me wrong, so I'm going to finish out that series, too, but it's nice being able to throw in other games that I've loved, so, okay. Are you, like, a hundred? Like, a hundred or something? Okay, V, we're here, honey. 
It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, V. Let's go inside. Have fun with your potatoes. <laughs> Out of context quotes by Riddy. <laughs> CV, isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. V, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay, well, it's not going to work anyway because my internal battery has died because that's how many hours I've put into this cartridge. Go get your own room, V. I have no room for my... You get your own room, V. I have no room for myself. Yeah, I think my mom sleeps on the chair right here like this. Or maybe me and my mom share a bedroom. Like we have to cozy all cuddly. Or she has like... Maybe I have like a trundle bed or something. I don't know. But we got these uh, Vigoroths over here moving my stuff in. He's smashing me in the face with a moving box. <laughs> or the kitchen counter. That's true. He, or she climbs in the cupboard right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh! It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to service the controller. I am currently playing Pokemon Emerald with my Emerald cartridge in my Game Boy player of my GameCube, so it's it's fate. See this one little bed. See, maybe I have like a trundle bed or like a cot or something that mom rolls and puts right here. Who knows? Let's look at the best region ever made. Hoenn region. Hoenn for life. I am a Hoenn fan girl. My favorite Pokemon game ever created uh, so far has been uh, Alpha Sapphire, and I know Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire got a lot of hate, but I am a Hoenn fangirl, and it gave all of the wonderful things about the new gens that we have, such as online, you know, the online play, um, you know, mechanics, you know, I love the fairy type, so all that stuff, but it gave me Hoenn again, and that's why, to me, so far, it's a perfect game. Yes, Hoenn for life. <clears throat> Mom's room is a secret room. All right. Um, I think I've got a potion in here. Oh, not deposit. What am I doing? I don't have anything to deposit. Yes, grab that potion. Okay, now we'll set the clock that won't work after I set it, so. The clock has stopped. Oh, welcome back. Hi back, I'm RJ. Mom's real room is a dumpster behind the hole. Ah. Okay, what time is it? It's 6.46. Oh, can I go backwards? No, might as well go forwards. Why are you eating so early, Rob? So it took me like 45 flipping minutes just to get... Okay, that's 45, 46. Yes. Vigoroth Moving Company seems inefficient. I hope they don't pay by the hour because that's... That one is clearly going back and forth, trying to get more money, doing nothing. I'm working! I'm working! I'm working! <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just funny. Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving in everything downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. I did. <clears throat> oh, sweet potatoes. I like regular potatoes more than sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are okay. Regular potatoes are one of God's gifts to mankind. V flipped open the notebook. Venture rule. Okay, we already know the rules because I'm a pro at this. Oh, hang on. Holland's texting me. GBA could only handle so much. Yeah, but it was a great system. Honestly, though, Nintendo GameCube is the best Nintendo system to ever exist, in my opinion. Um... Not only because the GameCube had a great game library, but the fact that they had the Game Boy Player, and you could play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games through your GameCube was just a wonderful touch, and I wish they would bring something like that back in, like, the Switch. I feel like, they have, like the Wii U would have been a perfect place for them to do the same thing with, like, DS games, where you could slap a DS game in your your Wii U and the game cat pad could serve as your touch screen and so on, but they didn't do it, and I f wish that they would. <clears throat> when she says regular potatoes over sweet potatoes. Oh, V! V! Quick, come quickly! 
She's just not as sweet as you, Rob. True. <laughs> Look, it's Petalburg Jim. Maybe Dad'll be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Jim. Yeah, they had a virtual console, yes, but I wish you could play your actual, like, DS cartridges in the Wii U. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. With my little fanny pat and my bow hat. <laughs> May is one of the cutest protagonists ever to exist. Exist. Flattery gets you everywhere. Sarah would know. She only compliments Rob 70,000 times a day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> kind of kidding, not really kidding. Hi, you! If you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Little Root Town. A town that can't be shaded any hue. I love... Let's just listen to this music, guys. Thank you, Summer. Oh, this music, though. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying, then he'll suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? So I'm just going to let you guys know. I'm not going to speedrun this. I'm not going to nuzlocke this. I am going to play this game like I would normally play this game, which is casually soaking in every little bit of goodness that is Hoenn. So, I'm sorry if I move kind of slow through this game. I just really want to take my time. I want to chat with you guys. I want to have so much fun just like lit going through Hoenn again because I really do love this region. So, I apologize now if you were hoping for a speedrun or a nuzlocke or anything like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have fun and play through the game and it'll take a lot of a lot of sessions together, I'm sure, but I'm, I want to have fun um, and the best for me, playing Pokemon is taking my time through it and really enjoying it. So that's kind of just how I play really anything, but especially Pokemon. So just kind of throwing that out there. <clears throat> yeah, it is nice in Hoenn. You actually know who your dad is. That's another thing I just love about this game is that you have both parents, which is awesome. Professor Birch's house. Toy, please. Toy, please. Oh, hello. And you are? I just look at her like this. Oh, you're V, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a son about the same age as you. Our son is excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. So I guess, th is this like, I guess this is Brendan's little brother. Hi, neighbor. Did you already have your own Pokemon? No. Let's see what secrets Brandon... Brendan. Aw, oh, he has the same stupid notebook. He copied me. There's an email from Pokemon Trainer School. A Pokemon may learn up to four moves. A trainer's expertise is tested on the movesets chosen for Pokemon. That's an amazing way to greet everyone. Music! <clears throat> Terror's supposed to do a Nuzlocke of Emerald whenever he finally gets his rear end gear. Yeah, Terror, let me know. I'll totally come watch. I remember when Rob did a Nuzlocke in Emerald. That was the first stream I ever saw of his. It turned out so great. <laughs> hey, you. Who are you? Oh, you're V, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Dad, Professor Birch, said that our new next door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, V, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Ah, oh, darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? Okay. Can I have this? Oh, it's Brendan's Pokeball. <laughs> oh, Terror hosted me and left. I'm not offended. I'm just kidding. These are super great memories. It's true. I don't know if Brendan's mom says anything else. That, Brendan! I guess our child is too busy with Pokemon to notice that you came to visit, V. I mean, I talked to him, so I DK what you're talking about. <laughs> Professor Birch's Pokemon Lab. <clears throat> 
Huh, Professor Birch? The professor's away on fieldwork. Ergo, he isn't here. Well, let me explain what fieldwork is. It is... It is to study things in the natural environment like fields and mountains instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing what doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm just going to steal this. Is that not like every game I play, though? Nancy Drew, Pokemon, you just walk into people's houses and take what you want. <laughs> I'll inform him that you are greatly offended. He's terribly easy to guilt trip, so he'll be... Oh, no, don't guilt trip terror. <clears throat> He's a good, he's one of the good ones. He's a good guy. Alright, here we go. Um, hi! There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Yeah, okay. Okay, Rob, the moment of truth is coming. H help me! Hello, you over there, please help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! Okay. Rob. Here we go. The moment of truth. Which one do you want me to start with? We've got Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. You already know my favorite is Mudkip, but this is your birthday stream, and I love Hoenn, so I will raise up whichever of the three you would rather be to have. Yeah, Nancy will steal stuff and then talk to the person who owns the stuff and then steal even more stuff. Yep. Alright. The feel that feeling when Goodnight Gojira ignores you at his own birthday stream. Nancy sounds like a stand up gal. I mean she like solves mysteries and like puts criminals in jail, so I guess there's that's a plus, right? <clears throat> oh, really? Are you for reals? Rob. <laughs> She's not. She gets away with everything. Alright. Thanks for letting me pick Mudkip. Okay, here we go. Mudkip. Mudkip is number one. I thought you like I thought you were a Torchic dude. Alright. Wild Zigzagoon appeared. I have played once, so I have terrible luck. Sh I don't shiny hunt or anything like that, but I've only ever come across one shiny in my entire life. Oh, I just seared. Um, only one shiny in my entire life have I ever come across, and it was when I was starting a game of Pokemon Ruby, and I had just grabbed Mudkip, and the Zigzagoon, this Zigzagoon was shiny. It was heartbreaking. You're Torchic Dude when Nuzlocking. When not, in, in my opinion, Mudkip is the coolest. Awesome! If you have to sol steal everything to solve mysteries, do it. Okay, here we go. Let's beat this guy. <clears throat> so, there's probably going to be parts in this uh, playthrough together where we will... Well, I'll be grinding up levels. So, when those times come... Um, I love the battle music, don't get me wrong. But, um, I don't want to... You, to subject you guys to like 30 straight minutes or a straight hour of like battle music if I'm just grinding up levels. So while we're hanging out and chatting, I'll cut the game music way, way down and I'll reactivate my new fancy song request bot so you guys can throw songs in the queue and we can just listen to music. So. <clears throat> Summer, do you know anything about uh, Pokemon? Not being sarcastic, I'm just genuinely curious. Professor Birch, whew! I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You were jumped by a Zigzagoon and you got scared. And you're a grown man. You're a professor who studies Pokemon and you got jumped by a level 2 Zigzagoon and you could not defend yourself. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Summer. I hope you enjoy. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're V. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, V. I've heard so much about you from your father. I heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Yes! Yes, just use Slow Kick. It's super effective. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Yes. Okay, <clears throat> so here's how naming is going to work. 
for the most part, I think I'm going to choose my own team. Um, I'm I'm obviously up for suggestions. If you guys are like, oh yeah, put this on your team, that would be perfect subject su suggestion or perfect addition. I can't speak. But because this is Rob's birthday stream and he picked Mudkip, I'm going to give Rob the opportunity to name the starter. I 99% of the time keep my starter on my team the entire game. So, um, <clears throat> Rob. Whatever you want to name this Mudkip is up for grabs. Now, for future Pokemon, as I catch them and add them to my team, um, I will do a random draw giveaway in the chat. You guys will enter if you want to name, and then it'll randomly select somebody and whoever the winner is. Basically, what Rob does on his channel, I just set up here so that um, everybody can kind of get a fair shot in um, naming Pokemon throughout this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marcelo? Okay. We'll name him Marcelo. Yeah, Summer, if you ever get the chance to pick up Pokemon, you really should. Um, the new games are fantastic, especially Sun and Moon. Uh, they're really, really friendly to uh, new players, um, while still kind of having a feel, uh, like a, a, the familiar feel that like all of us Pokemon veterans. But yeah, Sun and Moon were great. Um, so if you ever get the chance, if you have a 3DS, um, I would definitely recommend those. But <clears throat> okay, Marcelo. Let's name him. Yeah, so I only have a couple rules about my music and my naming, like Pokemon naming, or if other things, you know, happen in, in multiple streams that, you know, I want to do a random giveaway. It's just nothing inappropriate. Um, I don't care what you do song requests, just please keep it, um, nothing explicit is really my only rule. So... <clears throat> What about winter, fall, and spring Pokemon? Oh, <laughs> summer Pokemon. Yeah. So yeah, just nothing explicit and we're good. So, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid Brendan is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. V, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see Brendan? No. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Fine. Great. Brendan should be happy too. You're just like terror. That's good. Get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I don't need your snot-nosed kid to tell me. Marcelo sounds like royalty. Yes, let's look at him. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, how do I? Oh, okay. Phew. Pokemon. Marcelo. <clears throat> Lord Marcelo of the Mudkips. Obviously, water type. Naughty nature. I can't... Ah, I'm so bad at EVs. Someone tell me what naughty... Off the top of their head. What naughty will help me with. <clears throat> Hello! Fax Econdemaster. I probably said that terribly. You always took the chicken and catch CDOT, the sleepy animal skitty. The sleepy animal, haha, <laughs> Skitty and the bird don't remember the names. That's okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, naughty nature, I don't remember what stats that's gonna help me in. Tackle and growl. <clears throat> Plus attack, negative special defense. Oh, crud. I like having some special defense on my side, but that's okay. We okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Oh, can I talk to my mother? I don't think I can. Oh, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the channel. Um, I am Victoria. Um, you can call me Victoria, you can call me Tori, or you can call me V. Most people on Twitch just call me V because it's easiest to type out. Um, but you can call me whatever you want as long as it's not Vicky. That is the only nickname that I do not like, so please don't call me that. <clears throat> okay. So she just healed up Marcelo, who was already fully healed. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm having so much fun. I'm probably having way more fun than any of you, and I apologize for that, but I'm seriously having so much fun. Yeah, so he's saying Torchic, Cdot, Slackoth, Skitty, and Talo. 
Emerald will always be your favorite Pokemon game. It was my favorite until um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, which are basically just the remakes of this game. Um, but they were perfect versions of this game, and it was just, it's wonderful. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. Well, we're just... I mean, I don't have any Pokeballs yet, but I'm going to level up a couple levels before we go meet Brendan. I don't have any idea really right now what I want to do for my team. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm kind of still debating on that. Um, I may get, like, kind of early in the game, like, Poochyana and a few of the others that um, are kind of easy to train up early and swap them out later. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and swap them out later. Um, I don't... <sighs> yeah, I mean, the music is great. I like the orchestrated versions of the 16-bit songs, but there is something cozy about the 16-bit songs that you grew up with, so I totally understand where you're coming from. <coughs> If you guys have any suggestions of, as to what you'd like me to raise up on my team, shout them out there. Um, I mean, like, for instance, a Routes is a really easy one to kind of raise up because Gardevoir is a beast in this game. Um, but I also don't want to have, like, a super predictable team. Um, so it's really up to you guys. <clears throat> um, we're just going to kind of go through this together. Um... If you guys are like, oh, this would be great. I'd love to see you raise a blah, blah, blah. Or um, this Pokemon is kind of terrible, but it would be cool if you could figure out a nice way to keep it, like, to incorporate it in your team. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I pick Pokemon that I just like, even though they're not necessarily good. Um, when I played through Alpha Sapphire for the first time, I decided that I was going to raise up a Beautifly, and I found a, a nice way to kind of make it work um, in the team that I had. Um, I had a really defensive team, and then I had Beautifly, who had um, some pretty crazy special attack uh, by the time I was done with her. So I would throw her out and, like, crazy up some damage, and then swap her out for one of my more defensive members. So, um... <clears throat> it really worked, and, like, I really like doing that. Oh, that's okay, Susan. Feel free to just chat about anything that you want to chat about, even if it's not Pokemon. Um, adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to very distant lands with Marcella the Mudkip and V the human. The fun will never end. It's adventure time. Oh, Aeron is a great Pokemon. Agron's one of my favorite third gen. Oh yeah, like totally. I'm gonna let's do Aeron because I love Agron. Okay, maybe a Crobat. I'm trying to think the earliest that I can get a Zubat is I think in Duford Cave. Yeah, because you can't yeah, I think so. But yeah. So not all Magikarps. No, we're not doing all Magikarps. <clears throat> so Pokemon Center in Old Dale. Yeah, raise a blah, blah, blah. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling about Pokemon at this point. But yeah, like if you guys want to see me kind of try to raise a Pokemon that's not necessarily considered good, I will totally be up for the challenge. We can make it the best whatever. Uh, dark cave where Dunsparce is. There are no caves before the normal gym town. The normal gin town is Petalburg, which is where your your dad's the leader of, and there's no cave between here and there. Hey, Julia! Welcome! Oh, yeah, Susan, totally. But, yeah, I want... She can always rewatch the stream later if she'd like. Um, I definitely don't want to be, like, pulling anybody out of school. <clears throat> no, there isn't. I'm sorry. Sorry to crush your dreams, Rob. Alright, let's heal up. I really like Pokemon Center music in third gen. Ugh. So good. That PC in the corner there is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. 
Thank you. The Pokemon Wireless Club on the second floor was built recently, but they say they're still making adjustments. Well, I don't have anybody to link up with, so... Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all for free. Oh yeah, you're thinking Gen 2. That's okay. That's okay, I know you did not play a lot of Hoenn, and I do not hold that against you. A lot of people didn't like Hoenn the way that I did, so I... And I think that's and that's what I love so much about like the, both the Nancy Drew community and the Pokemon community is there there's so many different games that it's cool if people like different things in the series because that's what makes the series so great. Never got into Pokemon. I tried playing one of them, but I'm just generally not a fan of turn-based stuff. See, I love turn-based stuff because I'm bad at like melee. So you got a shiny Electrike. You think it's think its name is. Oh, okay. That was a game fail in the shiny Ralts, and I don't want to... Aw, oh, you used the Master Ball. Okay, hi, Nicole. Welcome back. You can do it if you really try. We're winning. The contests are fun. Yes, Harley. Ah, oh, Black and White is... N I don't think Black and White is the worst Pokemon game, in my opinion. My least favorite gen was actually Gen 4. Um... I like Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, don't get me wrong, and I plan to play them once I get a uh, DS that I can stream from. But um, overall, it's the uh, generation that I played the least of, um, and that was the least memorable for me, and the least fun as I was going through it, although that's within the context of Pokemon, like, all games are fun, so... <clears throat> But I liked 5th Gen. Um, I thought Black and White 2, though, were like four times better than Black and White. So if you played Black or White and didn't really like it, but were interested in the 5th Gen, I thought Black and White 2 were so much better. Yes. You don't know anything but 1st Gen Pokemon. If the Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to go farther away from here. <laughs> okay. This lady. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? Yeah, I guess. This is a Pokemon Mart. Just look for your, our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. Potion. No! I love modern Pokemon, yo. So good. I'm loving all Pokemon. It's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. Except... Not really. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. Well, you're a weenie. I'm just kidding. I'm being so cruel. Old Dell Town, where things start off scarce. I like this music too, so I'm going to be quiet for a second and just walk around. Modern Pokemon spin-offs are like, eh, but the main series is just fine. <clears throat> okay, now that I let you guys listen to the music for a sec. When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes out first. So when you get more Pokemon in your party, try switching around the or order of your Pokemon. It could give you an advantage. This is true, Riddy. This is true. I don't think I need to buy anything. What levels am I at? Seven. That'll be plenty. <clears throat> Hello. I would like a couple of these. I don't need a Parliz heal. Um, I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna get one more of these. Who's a weenie? Will they join me at Weenie Hut Juniors? Yeah. Girlfriend likes to stress me when I'm watching her play Skyrim by completely berserking into battle. <laughs> She punched a dragon in the face. What are your favorite legendaries? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. My favorite... Be safe, Summer. Uh, my favorite legendaries. Um, I really like Eveltal from X and Y. <clears throat> also, Raikou from uh, second gen is great. Um, what are other legendaries I really like? Um, I'm 
trying to go through all of them in my head. If I find a Gulpin or a Chime Echo, you're going to be so happy. Okay, what other legendaries do I like? Um, <clears throat> I... I actually really like Dialga and Palkia um, from 4th Gen. I know I said I don't really like that gen very much, but I do like the mascot legendaries. Wouldn't have expected Eveltal, really. I think it's so cool. And, well, I like the story in that game around Eveltal and Xerneas and Zygarde. But I also really like, um, from 5th fifth, fifth Gen, the trio uh, Terrakion, uh, Cobalion, and Verizion. I think they're amazing. Like, I just really like their design. So, the legendary dogs haunt me with their chase me trainer teehee attitudes. True. Pokemon is the sort of thing that would stereotypically appeal to my Aspie collecting traits, but nope, that's okay. Not everybody's into it the way I am. Really? I prefer Palkia over Dialga, but it's only by a little bit. Yeah, the fighting trio, I really I really liked. I just liked their designs. Um, I liked... I just... I don't know. I just really liked them. <clears throat> I like Verizian the most of the three. Keldeo is cool, but I don't really lump him in with the other three. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Marcelo. Wrecked. Okay, let's talk to this bro. Oh, I can't go this way! My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. Pretty soon I'll be getting some Pokeballs and we can add some... Add some fools to this team. Um, I do like Hoenn Legendaries, but... They're not... Okay, I love Kyogre. I love Kyogre. But I actually don't really like Groudon very much. Um... I don't really like his design, and I'm not a huge fan of Rayquaza, Rayquaza, however you're supposed to say it. I used to say Rayquaza as a kid. Um, <clears throat> but Kyogre, amazing. Um, I also really love Latios and Latias, um, but the other two kind of fall flat for me. They're not one of my favorite things of this gen. Oh, there's so much, so much happening. Yeah, Snivy's, Snivy is awesome. My sister is a huge Snivy fan, or that that line. Cast form the legend. Uh, true, Tour. True. I just... Eh. Keldia was okay. No, 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 no. No, that's fine, Julia. I totally understand. Like, it's cool if you're not into it. Um, I'm glad you're here, honestly, and watching. <clears throat> Deoxys is a third gen, yeah. <coughs> okay, back to this. Yeah. Sorry if I'm like taking a while to catch up on the chat, cause I'm trying to like play some Pokemans and keep up and everything, so. With the way the weather changes a lot in Ohio, cast form would constantly be switching forms. <laughs> it's hard to get Pokemon stuff that doesn't have Pikachu on it. Your daughter doesn't like Pikachu. He is kind of overrated. I like Pikachu, but I actually like Raichu more than Pikachu. Um, and you don't ever see Raichu on anything. Everybody likes Pikachu. I don't really like Yuxi. Eh. That trio is like, meh, for me. Um, Jirachi is fine. Um, but if we're gonna do Steel Psychic types, um... Wait, Cresselia isn't steel. I don't know, Jirachi's fine. <coughs> Twins, Rob. Okay. I just want to get to Brendan. 
But all these dang Poochianas, and they're all girl Poochianas. <clears throat> You're here for the awesome chat and cool people. Yes. We will be your distraction. So many twins. Oh, yes. True. Metagross over Jirachi. Um, although, I feel like Metagross is slightly OP. But... I always, I always pick Bulbasaur when I'm playing uh, Kanto games, so that's just me. <clears throat> yeah, Meta, uh, Metagross is a pseudo-legendary. They are cute, yes, Harley, but they're kind of bland. They're all just like standard Psychic types. I feel like Psychic is such an overused type for legendaries. I wish they would give us more diversity of types in legendaries. Bulbasaur twins! Yes! Okay. Alright. I don't think I took enough damage to need to go back. Nah, 4, four HP. I got a couple potions just in case. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Hey, it's V! Oh yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? <clears throat> I'll teach you about what being a trainer's about. Now I will say, for 7th Gen, for Sun and Moon... Dang. So I, I got Sun, and my sister got Moon, and I much prefer... I don't, I'm not going to give too much too many spoilers, because I know some of you guys may not have finished Sun and Moon or even played it yet, but the Sun Legendary, so much cooler to me than the Moon Legendary. Wow. So cool. I really, really, really like the Legendary from Pokemon Sun. <coughs> What's everyone's favorite out of Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous? Uh, Tornadus, probably. Yeah, the box cover. Yes, Rob, twins again. So many twins. You can't really go to your GP and say, hey, you know that joint pain I've had for a year and a half that no one knows the cause of? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, Tornadus is us is probably my pick. <clears throat> okay. All right, Trico, you's going down. Oh yay, twins! E. Trying is important in general. True. V back to the game where we're not getting oh yeah I know but like I said in the beginning this is a casual playthrough I'm not worried about time really I'm just I'm really here to like play Pokemon and hang out with you guys so <clears throat> trying his first step to failure wow we got a pessimist over here All right, moving up in those levels. <laughs> You're like Terra's twin brother. Maybe it's actually Terra, and he's just got another account, and he's just go. He just goes back and forth. You didn't like the Tapus? I liked two of the Tapus. I liked. <laughs> it's funny. I liked the two Tapus that were like more masculine in design. I the two uh, Tapus that are more feminine in design. I'm just like ah. Eh, they're okay. <clears throat> um, I liked a couple of the Ultra Beasts, but most of them I was just like, what is this? I think I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye out for you now. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though you just got it. V, I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. On the bright side, your girlfriend was up for a weekend for my birthday celebration. She helped me sort my DS games. Ooh, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mast is awesome. It's a great game. What is my favorite fairy Pokemon? Either Florgis or Rabombi. Yeah. Yeah, that's my pick. <coughs> when E asks V but not Rob. Feels bad, man. Alright. Let's heal up. Let's get some Pokeballs. Let's add somebody to the team.
So, <clears throat> I think for my first addition to the team, if you guys are cool with it, I think I would like to raise up a C dot into a shift tree. Um, I like shift tree, um, and I think it'll be a nice grass type to add to the team. So I'm thinking kind of tentatively that that might be what I'd like to add first to my team. I'm heading back to my dad's lab now. V, you should hustle back too. Okay. What's your favorite evolution? Yours is Umbreon. <sighs> that one's kind of hard. I'm gonna say Glaceon is my favorite evolution. Your favorite fairy Pokemon is Tinkerbell. Hey! Okay, so Shiftry's cool with you. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. So let me go get some Pokeballs. I like Tinkerbell too. <coughs> What's amazing to me? Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. I have to talk about this because you said Tinkerbell and Fairy type. So Fairy type Pokemon are weak to poison types. And in Peter Pan, Tinkerbell drinks the poison for Peter and almost dies. Like, if that's not a direct... If they did not do that on purpose because of Peter Pan, it's an incredible coincidence because it just makes perfect sense. Oh, good! Yes, Professor Layton's awesome. Oh, hi, V. I heard you beat Brendan on your first try. That's excellent. Brendan's been helping with my research for a long time. Brendan has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, V, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, fairy folklore. Well, still. It made me excited. <coughs> the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically... I know that, like, the fact that fairy is also weak to steel is fairy folk folklore as, where as well. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I thought it was referencing Fern Gully. No, no, no. I'm glad that fairies beat dragons because dragons were way too OP. Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, Brendan, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records data in the Pokedex, why Brendan looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. <coughs> huh, so you got a Pokedex too. Well then here, I'll give you these. So I'm going to snack on these. They are chocolate coconut chips. If I'm, if it's obnoxiously crunchy, please tell me, because I can hold off and eat them later. V put away the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. You know it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm going to explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. Okay, so how many do I have? Five. Coconut? Do you not like coconut, Nicole? Wait, V! V, V, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going to go out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. <coughs> v, those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. Hallelujah that we can run now. To think you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. Yes, for running. Yay, for running. And my cute little hair goes back when I run. Is it obnoxious? Oh, you're kidding. Okay. I was like, oh no, I don't want to be obnoxiously crunchy. <clears throat> oh, you don't like coconut? I love coconut. I'm just going to grab this experience while I'm here. The texture. Have you had fresh coconut though? Because like fresh coconut and like dried coconut, completely different textures. Yes, you cannot be dangerously cheesy. Cheese is my favorite food. Speaking of which, I will probably at some point 
be taking a 10 minute a 10 minute break just a break i'll put some music up for you guys all that good stuff just to go like heat up some food and come back just so you're aware I'm gonna end up getting some repels. Actually, no. I'm not gonna get repels, and I'm sorry. I apologize now. Um, I like uh, kind of leveling up as I go instead of having to grind too much at one time. What would you rather give up for life? I would rather give up chocolate. 10 minute cheese break, yes. No, I would give up chocolate over cheese. Cheese is in everything, and like chocolate is great. Don't get me wrong. But, like cheese is it, like it's so good, and you can have it with like all sorts of foods. You can have it cold and hot. Literally every type of food has some sort of, has dishes in it that involves cheese. So <clears throat> there was a guy on NPR talking about why we don't need cheese in our diet. Well, he is wrong, and he should get off public radio. <laughs> I'm just kidding. True, you, I wouldn't want to give up either, but if I had to pick, I would give up chocolate. Because, like, can you imagine? No more pizza, no more ravioli, no more spaghetti with, like, cheese on the top, no more nachos. How would you survive? Well, let's talk to this guy, get an update. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. Let me save real quick. I know there's a different file, but we're gonna override. Well, it's not like I have to worry too much about the fat content, <laughs> considering I'm trying to gain weight. Like, obviously I don't want to gain weight by just like eating a bunch of crap and like putting crappy things in my body, but I do want to gain weight. So if it's like good fats, like almonds and nuts and stuff, like. I'm gonna just shove those in. <clears throat> Nacho cheese, though, man. As I finish a string cheese. <laughs> Alright. So, in Emerald, C dot is rare on Route 102, so we might be here a while. So, I'm just letting you know brace yourselves. I'm gonna be walking around these woods. I'm probably gonna walk around this one patch of grass because I wanna level him up with the trainers on this route. Yeah, yeah, vegan substitutes, I guess. Please, please, please be a C dot. Please be a C dot. Nope, of course it's not. How lucky would I be, though, if that was the first one I ran into? But it doesn't work that way. Okay. I'm gonna start running, though, as soon as I hit to level 9, because I don't want to get, like, super OP Mudkip and then be struggling to keep up with my other guys. So it is 7.30. I think at 8 is when I'm going to take my 10 minute break. Leave you guys with some music. And um. All that goodness. <clears throat> now I'm just going to start running. Um, so how are you guys doing? How's your Monday been? Did you have a good weekend? Tell me about what you did. I loved hearing about your lives. That made me sound really sarcastic, but I'm not being sarcastic. Marcellus flexing on him. <coughs> and obviously, too, I'm not going to finish this game tonight. Like, heck no. I'm way too guilty of trying to maintain my weight by not being greeted the whole yet. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I actually only, I exclusively drink and use whole milk. Um, I actually think it tastes better too. Um, 
now when I drink like skim or 2%, it tastes watery to me, like watered down version of milk, excuse me. Um, so yeah, now I'm, I'm like, it's all we have in our house now is whole. <clears throat> Regular day. You had a great weekend. Lazy Sunday. Lots of gym time yesterday and today. Work. Good. Glad you're chilling. Glad you're relaxing. Thanks for being here, everybody. Oh, Jean. Jean day. Jean days are fun. Do you normally have to wear, like, business clothes or... I don't... It's hard for me to drink milk straight, but, like, I love me a good glass of chocolate milk or, like, if I'm having, like, fresh-baked cookies or brownies or something, I'll drink milk along with that. But I don't just drink milk straight, usually. You started converting an Iron Man pinata into a Thor pinata? <laughs> ah, thanks. <clears throat> thanks, Rob. Glad you're here. Glad I could throw this for you. I just want a C dot. But yeah, we gonna be here a while because I'm trying to find this dang C dot. Milk, what can I say about milk? <clears throat> Saturday, you went to Glasgow for lunch. Yum. Shopping, dinner, drinking. Got your, got, ooh. Selling a shoehorn, it had failed me because I was trying to get my slippers out from under the chair in the living room. Ah! Oh gosh. <clears throat> Sounds good, Riddy. So dairy e. <laughs> okay, while I'm doing this, how about we open it up for song requests? Let me get that set up, yo. We gonna get this set up for song requests. Oh, th grossness. It's definitely not grossness. Weekend was a bit rough. Aw. I do like rainy days. Let me. Why did it... Alright, guys. For some reason, it started my cue back over right there, so... Throw some song requests in, y'all. <clears throat> Feel free. Oh, that's because E requested it. Yeah, base, it is white water. Oh, bye, Susan. Thank you for coming in. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Yeah, guys, throw, throw some... Uh, <clears throat> throw some song requests in. We'll dance together. While I find this dang C dot. <clears throat> Just remember, nothing explicit, please, but that's it. Oh, I love a rainy night. That's perfect. Oh, is it freezing? No. Don't tell me that, y'all. Long ago in days of yore, it and might be my internet. With the god named Thor. There were Vikings and boats and some plans for a furniture store. Not a bodega, it's not a mall. This will thank for apartments smaller than mine, as if there were apartments smaller than mine. Ikea, I don't know what this is, but it's a, a jam. And pine and a handful of Norsemen. Ikea, Ikea. selling furniture. In the land where the furniture folds to a much smaller size. Billy the bookcase says hello. So does the table, his name is Ingo. And the chair is a ladder back perch, but his friends call him Carl. Ikea, Ikea. just a mug and some pine and a handful of Norsemen. Ikea, Ikea. filling furniture.
Mars is doing this. y'all I'm pausing it hang on y'all ah I have to fix this I don't know what it is Is it back? Am I back at all? Can you see me? Improvement? Maybe uh, songs just don't work out. Gosh dang it. Well now I'm upset because I really want song requests to be able to be a thing. Ugh! Okay, hang on. <clears throat> We're swapping to this. And then back. Yeah, I had to turn off song requests. Hang on. To <laughs> turn off the re requests. Now it's a worm. I don't know. Maybe we can't do music and stream at the same time. That makes me utterly sad until I figure out what is going on with my internets. Yeah, I'm just going to turn them off. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll turn it on when I don't have any video playing. How about that? Like when I go on my break. <clears throat> Is it still frozen? Did I ruin it? I probably ruined everything. I'm so sad. You can hear me and see Wurmple and nothing else. Gosh dang it. Alright, hang on. I ruined everything. Yeah, maybe refresh. I wonder if it's Twitch because now, <sighs> well, dang it. I'm sorry. This is terrible. I tried. <sighs> I tried. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So basically, song requests go to this, um, the bot that I have set up, which pulls it from YouTube and then plays it. But I think that might have overloaded. You know what? Let me try something. Okay, tell me if that improved anything.
All right. <clears throat> you guys tell me when it's back, if you can see it, all of that good stuff. Am I in real time? <clears throat> I don't know what is going on. I didn't change any opposite. Literally the only thing that I've changed between my last stream and this one is the alerts and the bot. So I don't know if it is my internet or what. Oh gosh, I'm glad it's back. I'm just gonna have to up. I'm just gonna have this in like multiple parts. <laughs> ah! Yay! I'm glad you see me. Yeah, hopefully I can figure out song requests. Oh, let me turn the music back up. So now you can actually like hear the music, not like awkwardly just look at me. I gotta figure out why song requests seem to like overload overload me in the meantime I've just been looking for a C dot Yeah, go for it. You guys listen to your own stuff, I guess. <clears throat> oh, I mean... I don't think that C dots in any specific <sighs> Well should I do? Ah, oh, thank you, Ka, for the host. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Do I catch this? I feel like everybody and their mom uses a Gardevoir in their Hoenn trip. So I think I might pass. If I want a Psychic type, I think I'm gonna... Oh, that's okay. No worries. Thank you for stopping by for a little bit, Ka. Thanks for being here. Oh, bacon. Make a bake of pancakes. Bake a pancakes. Make a bake of pancakes. Bake and pancakes. I ran away from that route, so. <clears throat> Oh, yes, Julia, you know that video. Remember to get the experience share. Yeah, I don't really use it. Thanks, so. though. We could have requested that song. Yeah, I know. Definitely when, um, at the beginning of my next stream, I'll just start my queue where you guys left it off. I gotta figure out, though. The 10 hour version. Nope. It's gonna take flickin' flickin' frickin' forever for me to find this dang C dot. I don't wanna go too far in because I don't wanna battle all those trainers without my C dot.
Shift tree eyes. <laughs> I'll try to avoid that first trainer because I really want to battle these trainers with the C dot that I catch. C dot. I wish my frickin' fracking song request worked. Maybe if I tried a different browser, do I take the risk or no? <laughs> Alright, I'll battle this one guy. <clears throat> you have Pokemon with you? You're a fish Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Don't risk it. Okay. Gen 3 C dot is tough to raise, but I'm willing to stick it out. <clears throat> I know I'll have to find a leaf stone eventually, but. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna log out of Steam real quick. Because I don't need Steam taking up that internet stuff in the background. I just played Je Jeopardy with my Alexa and we scored 5 out of 6 clues correct. Holla. Awesome. Listen, you, if you're strong, you should have told me before. I don't train and tell. <clears throat> I just found a freaking... <laughs> So both routes and CDOT are supposed to be the same amount of rarity, I think. And I just found two routes and zero CDOTs. Steam will definitely be taking up my bandwidth. Well, I just pulled that out. That might be it. Maybe I could try again. I might try again when I'm getting ready to go on my 10 minute break, which is in like 10 minutes. So... <clears throat> I'm not going to do it, though. I, I don't think I'm going to do Gardevoir. Unless you guys really want me to have a Gardevoir, in, in which case I will do one. In which case I will catch one. <laughs> but I think I'd like to try and either get a different Psychic type or a different Pokemon altogether. Alright, I might try my song requests again when I go on my break. Because if it doesn't work, I'll just... Unfortunately start over again, but I really want to get it to work. Yeah, it doesn't seem as nice without fairy typing, and I like G Gallade better than Gardevoir, personally. So, <clears throat> a Gardevoir is necessary. What fossil Pokemon is your favorite? Um, I actually think that Shield On is my... I really, I actually, I don't really like 4th Gen, but I really like the fossil Pokemon from 4th Gen. Both, uh, uh, Shieldon and Kranidos are great Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, good night, Julia. I hope you feel better. Hopefully you can get some sleep. Give me a dang C-Dot. Give me a dang C-Dot. <laughs> Two hours later. You guys are... I've subjected you to so many unpleasant things this stream, and I am so sorry. All these tech difficulties, and can't find a dang C dot. I've literally just been walking around the grass for like 30 minutes. <clears throat> Your favorite fossil Pokemon is Amara? That's a good one. Six and a half hours later. Eh. That's what I'm hoping won't happen. I just want a dang C dot because I've made up my mind that I want a shiftery. You know what? My my kilobytes per second upload went up after I closed out my Steam that was running in the background. So maybe I'd be okay if I ran. 
Amora is the most adorable, true. Maybe I'd be okay if I tried running song requests. We'll try it at the break, though. I Like, five more minutes. You like the big T-Rex boy? <laughs> that would have been the most amazing clip. Give me a damn C-Dot. You actually like... Two? The mushroom? You like that strong jaw. I think you might be talking about... Um... I'm blanking. The one that Breloom, uh, uh, the one that Breloom evolves from. Dang, why am I blanking? Do I have a note about it? Shroomish. Why could I not? Oh, maybe he means fung fungus. Give me the C dot, give me the C dot, give me that C dot. Now I'm thinking now I'm thinking about Breloom. What do you guys think? Shiftry or Breloom? Ah, I'm still kind of feeling Shiftry. It's just gonna be a lot easier to find a Shroomish than it will to find a C dot, but we'll see. <coughs> Pretty, it's fungus. I think it was an episode. I think you're right, a fungus among us. Alright, I'm going to do two more encounters. How unexpected. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to do two more encounters, and then I'm going to go on my break. I'm going to leave you guys with your music and your song requests. <sighs> I'm going to pray that it doesn't make me ruined. You guys won't be able to tell until I get back, but... <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me get this squared away. Let me open this up. I'll let you look at me for a second. I'm probably going to freeze. Probably going to freeze. Because I have terrible luck. <laughs> Please work. Please, for the love of everything, work. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Yeah. I'm just really hoping. Well, I mean, I'm gonna take a break anyway and get some food. And leave you guys with a screen. So. Alright. Please. Okay. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Don't don't go anywhere. It'll Have fun listening to music. Named Thor. There were bikes and boats and some plans for a furniture store. It's not a bodega, it's not a mall. This is a thing for apartments smaller than mine. As if there were apartments smaller than mine. Ikea. Ikea. Just a moke and some pine and a handful of Norsemen. Selling furniture for college kids and divorced men Everyone has a home But if you don't have a home, you can buy one there so Rent a car or take the bus Lay your cash down and put your trust in
in the land where the furniture folds to a much smaller size. Billy the bookcase says hello. So does the table, his name is Ingo. And the chair is a ladder back perch, but his friends call him Carl. Ikea, just a mug and some pine and a handful of Norsemen. Ikea, selling furniture for college kids and a poor And a chair and a lamp and a shelf and some candles for you I was a doubter just like you Till I saw the American dream come true In New Jersey, they got a goddamn Swedish parade Ikea, just some milk and some pine And a handful of Norsemen Ikea, selling furniture for college kids and divorce men Well, I love a rainy night, I love a rainy night I love to hear the thunder, watch the lightning when it lights up the sky You know it makes me feel good Well, I love a rainy night, it's such a beautiful sight I love to feel the rain on my face, taste the rain on my legs In the moonlight shadows Showers wash all my cares away I wake up to a sunny day Cause I love a rainy night Yeah, I love a rainy night Well, I love a rainy night Well, I love a rainy night Ooh, ooh Well, I love a rainy night I love a rainy night I love to hear the thunder Watch the lightning When it lights up the sky you know it makes me feel good Well, I love a rainy night It's such a beautiful sight I love to feel the rain on my face Taste the rain on my lips In the moonlight shadows Puts a song in this heart of mine Puts a smile on my face every time Cause I love a rainy night yeah, I love a rainy night Oh, I love a rainy night Well, I love a rainy night
<clears throat> okay. I think there is also a dude that will trade me a routes for a C dot. So if I find a routes before I find a C dot, I'm gonna catch it and give it to that dude. You see me and hear me, but it's frozen. Guys, I might have to call it here for the night. <clears throat> I may have to call it here for the night in a very depressing fashion and say I'm so sorry. Because <clears throat> I'm really sad right now that it's not working and that I've had problems from the beginning, not even just with the songs, but from the beginning. And I can't find a C dot. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's Twitch. I don't know if it's me. My OBS is running every saying everything is running fine, but it's obviously not true. All right. If you guys can hear me, I'm going to save here. Um, this is not as long of a stream as I wanted to do. Whoops. Um. <sighs> I wanted to go until, like, 10. But right now I'm really depressed. <laughs> not really depressed. I'm just very upset. I'm having so many issues. Um. Also, I'm sad because this was supposed to be Rob's birthday stream. It is supposed to be very special. And it has been tainted by all of the dang problems that we have had so anyway I'm definitely off camera I'm gonna get that C dot because I don't want to subject you guys to two more hours of searching thank you guys for being here um, if you know me then you know that my streams are not usually like this they're usually way more put together so yes another day we will be coming back um, I'm gonna catch the C dot off stream so that I will have it when we get going, um, <laughs> did you just see that? Um, anyway, all of this to say, uh, thank you guys for joining. Happy birthday to Rob. I know it was a few days ago, but I hope it was great. I hope this year is very good to you. Um, thanks for being part of the, uh, the small community I have found myself in, in Twitch, uh, both with the Nancy Drew fam and now with you guys. And so I just appreciate you, and I know that a lot of other people do too. Uh, thank you so much for your friendship and for your constant positivity. Um, 
it's just been really great uh, knowing you in the short time that I have, and I look forward to uh, seeing your channel grow and your our community grow. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but yes, I hope this year is very good to you. I hope it is filled with lots of people that you love, lots of fun trips, um, and a lot of good uh, uh, fun and fortune and luck and all of those good things. So, <laughs> thank you.